Okay, for today's quick little tutorial, we're just gonna talk about how to print things with Google Slides and uh, do it in an effective way so we don't waste as much paper. So uh, if you haven't done so already, I'm sure most of you have your projects already open. I'm just gonna bring over a new Google tab and I am going to open up my Google Slides uh, interface here or my app or whatever you want to call it. Um, there's all kinds of different things that people have sent me over the years and, and whatnot. This happens to be from last year. We went on a photography trip in spring. So this is some of the uh, photos that came back uh, in a lovely little slideshow. But if I was going to print this off, I don't want to print it off in such a way that it gives me like full size page pictures because I don't need that many um, I don't need it to be that big just to just to scan through it and mark it so for you guys the way to do it is you go to file you go to print settings and preview and it's gonna pop up here it takes a second sometimes for all the pictures to load depends on how many slides are in your presentation um, I know that it's loading in the background so I'm gonna make this first change which is I want it to be instead of one slide I want it to be a handout with two slides per page. So that's going to give me two of my slides that I created for every single page. Uh, as well, if I go to the portrait mode, it will, when it eventually there will be a preview that shows up. Hopefully Google's not super, super slow today in getting this edited. I probably should have picked a slideshow that didn't have quite as many pictures in it. It would have been easier for it to do it on the fly. But regardless, this should come up pretty quickly normally it's already here so maybe the fact that you guys are all still logging in uh, to the network and stuff has slowed things down assuming you had a preview that showed up uh, the next step would be to click on download as PDF and what that will do is it will download your finished compiled presentation as a PDF so that you can print it off uh, it's always best to print things from PDF. Hey, there we go. Finally, you have showed up. Uh, so if you notice here, I've got first slide, second slide, so on and so forth. It's doubled everything up. So we have two slides on each page. And it's just in the background, it's just compiling that PDF for me. You can see that there's a download amount. So the size is being created. Once it's finished, I would simply click on that. It's going to pop up here in the same web browser that I was in before all I have to do is hit print and from there obviously make sure that you're using the color printer so select just replace lab 152 color and select double-sided printing so if we select two-sided if you notice the total sheets of paper used if you go to not two-sided it uses 35 sheets of paper Whereas if I do two-sided, it's only 18 sheets of paper. In your case, if you've got six to 10 slides, uh, you're gonna use like three pieces of paper. So it's definitely more efficient way to print off a slideshow rather than full size pages and, uh, and have so, many, uh, so much ink being used and so much paper being used. So uh, I'm not gonna print this, but the next step would be just to hit print and then wait for your document to come out. You would of course staple it hand it into the hand in bin and everything should be good to go. So hopefully that little tutorial figures out how to print things. Uh, a little side note, if you happen to be using um, Microsoft PowerPoint, I will pop that open right now because a few people um, decided that they would use PowerPoint. And uh, in PowerPoint, it's a little bit different the way that you interface with um, the way that you do the print setup and uh, and print screen. So I've just opened up a generic PowerPoint slideshow, uh, similar concept. It's just a bunch of different slides. So I would go into File, Print, and in the print settings here, it gives me the the option to go full page. Uh, in this case, I want to do two slides to a page, same as I had done before. Um, I don't like the fact that in PowerPoint it kind of squishes things down a little bit makes it super small. Um, obviously, I still need the color printer because I want them to be in color. Um, but you can edit, uh, you should be able to edit, edit the margins and things um, just to give yourself a little bit better 
uh, page size. But in this case with PowerPoint, it really kind of squishes things down. I don't really like it very much. You can hit the scale button and it will scale it a little bit bigger. Um, from here though, it's tough to print it double-sided. Sometimes this doesn't work. Um, if you click the print on both sides, 90% of the time it works great. Sometimes you just still have to export it as a PDF and then print it double-sided. Uh, it has something to do with the print drivers that we use at the school. Uh, but regardless, you would hit print and, uh, and that's how you would print double-sided two up on a page it's called. So we have two of the same uh, or two documents, excuse me, on the same page. Um, just as an aside, if you wanted it to be six on a page, this would be considered six up and you'd have six slides on the same page. So again, you can save even more. Um, it makes it a little tough to read though. So I like to just do the two and that way I can see your designs a little bit better. I can see what font you used. I can see how you used your elements and principles of design effectively uh, with regards to the presentation. So uh, those are due tomorrow. Uh, if you have questions, let me know. I can help you print it off, but hopefully this little tutorial, I'll post it up to the YouTube page and to the website will uh, get you through if you weren't able to follow along as I did it in class here. So uh, have a good rest of class.